Hey guys, all right, today I'm gonna show you how to export in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you a few different tips along the way, um, but mainly what I'm gonna show you is just kinda how to get it exported. You've done your project and then you're like, wait, why has no one showed me how to export this? So this is that video and let's get right into it. Final Cut Pro is open. So you wanna make sure your project is open and selected. You wanna make sure you can see your timeline. If you can see your timeline, you're doing something right. Next thing you want to do is go up to file, share, and then add destination. Now, what this is gonna do is pull up a menu and I'm showing this to you like you've never exported anything because I'm assuming that's why you're watching this video. So this is how you customize what exactly shows up as sharing. So for example, DVD is on here. Do you want DVD on there? Probably not. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. You can always add it back later. I like having the things that are like the essentials so I don't accidentally do something wrong. After you are done, also if you wanna add one, you can literally just hit the add and go from there. Select the one you want, all of that stuff. You should be pretty good by default, but I just wanted to show you that just in case you wonder why mine might show some things that yours does not. Um, next thing you wanna do is make sure you i always like to give it a little click on the timeline just just a little click but that seems to uh make sure that this project's actually selected especially if you have other projects open in final cut it can get a little bit weird so for the very basic thing first and foremost all you're going to do is you have two different options to export that's why it's that's why it's pretty easy all right first option top right that's the share icon so that is in fact exporting you have export file which is basically um, an as is source file you're going to notice it's going to be really big right over here as the estimated uh, size i never hardly do this unless i'm exporting something to go to an editor of mine or something next thing is apple device 720 1080 and 4k these are what i use the most uh, they work so good especially with kind of my ecosystem of hitting that button, airdropping to phone, being done. Uh, YouTube and Facebook works good, honestly, for my YouTube videos, including this video I'm recording right now, I will just do Apple device uh, 4K, I'm not gonna lie. I, I rarely hit YouTube and Facebook. The only difference when you hit YouTube and Facebook is it will go into a .mov file instead of Apple device 1080, which does a .m4v file. Uh, basically an MOV file is gonna work with more things, uh, especially web stuff, but an M4v file works a lot better on iPhone with social media, all that stuff, in my opinion. Um, so for this example, we're gonna hit Apple device 4K because this is a 4K project. Then you always wanna hit your settings. Here you have your format, I leave it as Apple device, but if you wanted to just export the audio or just the video or whatever, but I just leave that as is. On the video Kodak, you have better, faster, or you have some HVX. I just always leave mine on multi-pass. Uh, I like that unless I am just doing a quick copy to send to someone just to see if they like what I'm working on. But most of the time I leave that on better because who doesn't want better? Apple device 4K, then you can export in 4K. Um, then you're gonna hit next. And from there, all you are gonna do is select your download location. And so you can just go through your computer, go to your desktop, do Dana, whatever, export it, and it will automatically start exporting. That is how to export in Final Cut Pro. And if you want, stay tuned. I'm about to show you a really, really useful tip while I'm on this subject because this is, this is something I ran into that I was very confused about. Here's what it is. Also, if you don't mind, just go ahead, hit subscribe, hit like, you know, while we're waiting. Perfect, thank you for that. Um, all right, so next thing we're gonna do is, let's say we want to export this as a vertical project. So, how do we switch it from horizontal to vertical? Well, what we're gonna do is, you see this project right here, you're gonna right click, duplicate project as. Then you're gonna name it what you wanna name it. So I'm gonna name this Real Roots Vertical because 
it's real roots vertical. Then you're going to switch that to vertical. Now, here's a tricky part. You want to make sure you catch this because it does this every time, at least on mine. You want to make sure that you catch this resolution because it drops down. And so for, for me, it just switched to 720. I want to switch it to 1080. I never export vertical things at 4K because what is the purpose? Uh, Instagram's just going to crush it, TikTok, all of them. So 1080, 24 frames per second. And then sometimes your color space will change. Just make sure that stays on standard rec 709. That is what you're wanting to do. And then if you want, you can do smart conform. And what this does is it will try to center your subject. Um, I tend to not do it for things like this where it's a subject sitting down. Uh, it works okay. I've, I've had it work really good. I've had it mess up and then it's frustrating because I have to go undo the keyframes. But it basically tries to keyframe your subject in the center. So anyways, hit OK. And now as you see at the top, it will create a new one. But... If you notice, it did not put us in the new one automatically because it's so horizontal. So you need to click on this, double click on it, and now there you go. Now it is horizontal. As you can see, it's kind of weird because I was scaling in and out of horizontal footage. So now that footage is showing up vertically. So here's how we're going to fix that. I am going to grab another adjustment layer personally. I'll put the link to an adjustment layer for your final cut in the description. And then all I'm gonna do is scale in all of the footage just for now. Now, obviously like this clip right here, I would scoot it over to center her, but to show you kind of what, I'm, what I mean, now we have a perfectly centered vertical um, thing and you can go through and if you saw something that needed to be corrected you could easily fix it now you are good to export so to export this same thing this is the other way you can do it you can go to file share apple device 1080 so i'm going to click that hit settings make sure it's on better make sure it's on 1080 and now here's what you'll notice last thing is it will only let me export this in 1080 now even though it is 4k footage so let's say let's say i was like dang it i really want to export that in 4k so what you're going to do is duplicate this vertical one and say vertical 4k and now you're going to change this to 4k now what you'll notice is double click on it file share 4k and voila 4k is now there it's crazy so make sure that whatever you're gonna plan to export at that your project is that resolution or it will not let you export at a higher resolution i know premiere you can get around that and you can literally export up in resolution, not with Final Cut Pro. You have to match the resolution or below. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Uh, if you have any problems, I know there's some errors in Final Cut. I was going to touch on those a little, but they're always changing and an update just came out uh, at the time of recording this video. So I'm not sure if the ones I've struggled with are still a thing or if there's 300 new ones. But let me know if you have questions and I will get back to you and I can make another video if needed. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one.